How did you come up with the overall number of people who would be taken out of the workforce? Yeah, so in this study we, we used some uh, recent detailed data about the, the workforce in the U.S. and this data set allows us to estimate um, to the best of, of the ability of the data which workers, which individual workers are likely to be undocumented. And then we use this data combined with an otherwise standard economic model that we use for labor market issues all the time. And, um, and then uh, once we fit in the data, we see that there are about 7 million undocumented workers in the US. That's a lot of men and women who have jobs. Every day they, they, they show up to do their jobs and they're, they're producing. And when we put in those data into the model and we think about what would be the effects of losing those workers, we, we learn that GDP could fall by 2 to 3 percent. That's not a small number. No, it's that, not a small number. That's, that's true. That amounts to the, the economic contribution of the whole state of Massachusetts. Yeah. And it doesn't, it doesn't uh, distribute evenly across all sectors, as you suggest. We can put up a chart here, actually, that shows where particularly se some sectors would be hit hard, led by the leisure in, uh, industry would be hit particularly hard. There's a bar chart that we have coming up. There it is right there. You see leisure and hospitality right at the top. And that is like 1.3 million, potentially, Americans, workers, is what it says. And then construction number two. So there's some sectors that would be particularly hard hit. That's right. So some sectors, in some sectors, the concentration of undocumented workers is pretty high. But one thing that we learned in this study when we looked at the data carefully was that undocumented workers are really spread throughout the economy in many sectors. So, so um, uh, it's a large, large number. But as a practical matter, the full seven, eight million would not be taken out of the economy at any one given time. I mean, even the way the new guidelines from DHS, Department of Homeland Security, came out, it starts with people who have been committed to a crime or suspected of a crime, things like that. But break it down, for each million you take out, how much do we lose out of the economy? For each million workers, yeah. something to the order of, doing the math here on my head, maybe $30 billion a year. And, and if you do the math, we actually have President Trump, who was interviewed shortly after he got elected, we'll put this quote up here, where he said that he was estimating from his point of view, he was talking in 60 Minutes at CBS, he was saying, what we are going to do is get the people that are criminal and have criminal records, gang members, drug dealers, where a lot of these people, probably two million to even three million people, we are getting them out of the country and we're going to incarcerate. We're going to get them out of our country. They're here illegally. So, so even according to his calculations, which I'm sure are rough, but his calculations, it could be two or three million workers, which in and of itself, even if it's full, not the full seven or eight million, could have a real effect on the economy. Right. So. It's important to distinguish whether those two, three million that the president is referring to, whether those are all workers or it's part of the undocumented population who are not working. But to the extent that it's workers, that could be uh, close to a half of of the, of the estimates that we find. Now, in, in fairness, doctor, I think we do need to say how the, the, your study was funded. It was funded by the Center for American Progress. That's right. As I understand it, which is typically identified with the Democratic Party, mm -hmm. in fairness. So mm -hmm. not to say that your study itself is partisan, but I think we should reveal what the origins are. Sure. What the White House has said in response is, you're not taking into account the enormous cost of having undocumented people in the country, that they estimate to be, uh, there's a study that came out in 2013, like $100 billion a year. Have you taken a look at those sorts of numbers? Um, the fiscal impact is not something that's really at the center of our analysis. Our analysis is mostly focused on the labor markets, mm -hmm. uh, but there are a number of studies that uh, have looked at these things, and I refer to those for, for what the fiscal impact may be.